Hey guys, my name's Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel. Welcome to Vlogtober. <laughs> so this has been an eventful month already. We've had junk stock. We're finished. I'm home from junk stock. And it was a successful show. Did I make as much money as last year? No. But did I, did I still do really well? Yes. It's still a quarter of my total eBay income. So it's worth it for me to go. One thing that I was surprised about is that last year I had this great vintage chair. Let me show you some pictures of it because it was really cool. This chair, I, I had help from Aunt Terry and my Aunt Judy. They had helped me recover this chair that I'd found in the trash. So it's a mid-century modern, really cool chair, but it needed some, it needed a little bit of TLC. So we put a Pendleton blanket, a vintage Pendleton blanket over the top of it and it and made a pillow for it and it sold for $200. So I was really excited when I had more of that blanket and I found a bench that I could recover and take with me to junk stock. Actually, let's see a little bit more details about that. So I just stopped by a thrift shop on my way home from the post office and I picked up this adorable little bench. I have plans for this thing. I'm gonna paint it, recover it, and take it with me to junk stock. I sold a chair last year at junk stock and it was really cute. I did pretty well with it and I think I can do it again. Plus, I got this thing pretty cheap. Guess how much I paid for it. Leave me a comment and I'll tell you at the end how much I paid for it. <laughs> okay, so while that is drying, I have this left of this little piece of blanket. So this was a vintage blanket that I picked up at the Goodwill Bins in Denver. And it had a lot of holes in it. So I've cut out that holy part and I've reused this thing several times to make some pillows, to recover that chair. And now we're gonna make this. So we're gonna trim this to size. We're gonna piece this so that the stripes are showing and it looks really good. And then we're gonna place it on top of the bench that we just spray painted. So let's get this part done too. Okay, so I think this guy is dry and I've got the cover already stapled on, ready to be attached. So let's screw this thing down and see what you think. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it's so cute and it's gonna look great in my booth at Junk Stock. Okay, I'll be honest, we've got 10 minutes left of Junk Stock and I'm really disappointed. My bench didn't sell. I am so sad because I think it is so cool. So when I got home from junk stock, maybe a lot of you know, I have my eBay and my Poshmark turned off. I don't even have sales allowed because there's so many things going on this month that I, I turned my stores off. I'm going to be gone for junk stock. I'm going to be gone for Boss Reseller Remix. I'm going to be gone for a cruise at the end of the month. And we've got some other things happening in between that we'll tell you about later that just made it impossible for me to be able to continue to make sales on my eBay. So I turned it off, but I did put a few things on Facebook Marketplace and I've done really well with that. I've sold quite a few things, bigger things that I probably wouldn't, well, I know I wouldn't put on eBay because they're too big for me to ship. Too big for me to ship. Other people might like to, but I just didn't want to mess with the shipping. So I put a few things on Facebook Marketplace and I've sold quite a few things on Facebook Marketplace, including this bench. This thing was only listed for like a day and it got sold for full asking price. So I'm really happy <laughs> now that I've brought this thing home. It didn't sell at junk stock, but I did sell it on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm curious, do you guys use Facebook Marketplace and do you ship on Facebook Marketplace? I'd love to get your details. Tell me more, leave me a comment. Hang out with me some more. October is only 
part way through. We've got a lot more happening with Blogtober. And tomorrow we're going to talk about Facebook Marketplace scams. So subscribe and hit that bell because whenever I have a new video come out, I want you to know about it. I hope you guys are out there finding amazing things. I hope you're doing amazing things and I will see you next time. I'll probably see you in the bins.